my god. Oh my god, everyone, welcome to today's video in which we're going to be learning the angle bisector theorem. So the first thing we have to remember, guys, is what is actually an angle bisector. So an angle bisector is basically a line or a segment that splits the angle in half, right? So if a point is on the bisector of an angle, then it is equidistant from the two sides of the angle. And this is what we're going to be understanding or learning as the angle bisector theorem, right? So if we have a point A, B, and C that form an angle like so, and we know that AD is the bisector, we know two things. First, that the angle BAD and the angle DAC are going to be congruent because it is in this it is indeed the bisector and we also know because of the angle bisector theorem that if a point is on the bisector so d then it is equidistant from two sides so the distance from d to b is going to be the same distance as from d to c right this is going to be known as the angle bisector theorem and we also know that there is a converse so the angle bisector theorem's converse says that if we have a point that is equidistant from the two sides of the angle, then it has to be on the angle bisector, right? So in this case, we're given that from D to B and from D to C, we have the same quantities, right? They are the same, They're, they are the same measurement. So it has to be because of the angle bisector theorem, converse, that these two angles are the same. So BAD and DAC are going to be congruent because of the converse. Remember, in the first one, you are going to be given that AD is the bisector, and because it is, then the distance from D to B and the distance from D to C is the same. On the second one, on the converse, you have the opposite. You're given that from B to D and from D to C, are the same and you know that because of that then you know that from d to a is going to be the bisector and that means that this angle and this angle are going to be congruent because it's split in half by the bisector okay guys we're going to use this knowledge from the angle bisector theorem in order to write down or solve problems like the one we see here so in this problem we see that the measurement of the angle x y x w is 21 degrees so y x w so this angle right here is going to be 21 degrees we know that the distance from y to z is going to be of 5 and the distance from y to w is also going to be of 5 what is the angle of w z x y Okay, so they're asking us what is going to be this big angle right here, right? So what we can do, guys, is that we know that because YW is equal to YZ, that means that XW is the bisector, is the angle bisector. Right, And because it is the angle bisector, we know that then the measurement of the angle YXW is going to be equal to the measurement of the angle WXZ. So if YXW is 21 degrees, that is also going to be the measurement of X, WXZ. But they are asking us what is the measurement of the big one. So y x z if we know that both are 21 that means that the big one or the measurement of the angle z x y is going to be the double so it's going to be 21 plus 21 which is going to be 42. so guys in this one we use the theorem the converse of the theorem to show that oh because w y and w z are the same then that means that x w is the bisector 
because XW is the bisector, that means that the both angles are going to be the same. So the total angle is going to be 21 plus 21. And that is pretty much it for today, guys. So feel free to rewatch the video, copy the formulas, copy the steps, solve your problem. And that is it for today, guys. So see you on the next one. Bye bye. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.